ever pondered over the implications of the I2U2 group. It's a fascinating alliance composed of four nations, India, Israel, the United Arab Emirates and the United States. This coalition, also known by several other names such as the West Asian Quad, the Middle East Quad or simply the New Quad, made its first joint statement to the world on July 14th, 2022. The message was clear and ambitious. The group seeks to collaborate on joint investments and innovative initiatives across numerous sectors, including water, energy, transportation, space, health and food security. The idea for the I2U2 group didn't just appear out of thin air. It was the brainchild of Mohammed Soliman, a forward-thinking foreign policy analyst who proposed the concept of the Indo-Abrahamic alliance. Soliman envisioned a coalition that would forge a balance of power conducive to maintaining peace and security in West Asia. Fast forward to October 2021, and the I2U2 group held its first virtual meeting. Not long after, in July 2022, the inaugural summit took place, during which the leaders announced various collaborative projects, particularly in the realms of food security and clean energy. The I2U2 group presents itself as a platform for the 21st century, one that is fueled by economic pragmatism, multilateral cooperation and strategic autonomy. It's not just about these four countries, though. The group plans to broaden its horizons in the future, expanding both its membership and scope to include additional countries and regions. To summarize, the I2U2 group is a fresh and dynamic alliance of four nations, created with the aim of fostering joint investment and innovation across a range of key sectors. Born from the concept of the Indo-Abrahamic Alliance, the group held its first virtual meeting in October 2021 and its inaugural summit in July 2022, where it announced collaborative projects in food security and clean energy. As a platform for the 21st century, the I2U2 group is driven by economic pragmatism, multilateral cooperation and strategic autonomy, with plans to expand its reach to other countries and regions in the future. Intriguing, isn't it? The world is always changing and alliances such as the I2U2 group are a testament to the evolving dynamics of international relations.